What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and something a little bit different today. We are going to be doing kind of a live reaction to the EA Sports FC 2025 official rush gameplay. Now this is a five aside mode. There's a lot to sink our teeth into here because there is a lot and as I said I've skipped EA Sports games or FIFA games over the last three to four years. I haven't really sunk my teeth into them games over the last few years because it's all been about eFootball for me. But a lot of this stuff is probably not new if you've been playing FIFA or you've been playing the AFC franchise for, you know, the last year or so. But a lot of it is new to me. So I'm going to just see if it's something I'd be interested in. Um, I've seen a couple of snippets here, but we're going to go straight in here and be introduced to the mode. First thing I want to look at here, man, these type of kind of player models and stuff, I do like them. But I definitely think that, um, you know, it is more arcadey looking. Obviously, the faces are quite decent. But it does say down at the bottom here, visual fidelity depends on your hardware. So obviously, if you've got PS5, it's going to be better than PS4. I think that's a good thing because on eFootball, you know, the mobile game is obviously tied to the console game and yada, yada, yada. So it's not the true 4K experience. Whereas with this, the graphics and stuff do look nice and the presentation is always nice. That goes without saying. All right, let's roll it on, man. Football is not without five aside. Football is not and without five aside. the most social way to play every game mode. For the first time. So every game mode you can play five aside, and this is something that I definitely think could be huge, especially for somebody like me, man, where I could get along with four of you guys, four subscribers or four viewers. We jump in, we live stream our games, we build up our pros. It's nice, man. Genuinely, this is a cool, cool thing. Obviously, we had Volta. I was a big fan of Volta. That's the last one I played, the first year of Volta, I think. Um, but yeah, let's see what the gameplay looks like, man. Introducing Rush. Five aside matches, matches for the game, game this year. Rush. Yeah. It's called Rush. Blitz curl. Nice. Something completely new to the FC franchise. Okay. Everything that 11 11 has to offer, but on a smaller pitch. Okay. So the, obviously, it's going to be a way smaller pitch and it's going to be a way more streamlined performance with the gameplay, but still have all the same gameplay, I presume. Well, gameplay will feel the same, will feel the same as any match in FC25. There, there are some notable differences that make special. Rush special. I mean, from here, man, the screen and the size of the pitch and the spacing and stuff looks pretty Each decent. Obviously, you've got four moves. here. What's this? Rushing towards the line. Oh, my God, man. That's like dodgeball or something there. That's crazy. But I do like the fact that you are playing with the normal teams. A couple of different, like, um, different things in this, obviously, to look at. Like, this is the thing, man, with football games, right? You can see this guy sitting on the bench. You can see this guy here. And you can see this guy here are all the same player model. Um, and also, a little bit of weird movements. But we're not really going to focus too much on that. I will give EAFC a, a, fair, a fair go because, you know, eFootball has lots of issues as well. Smaller pitch. Okay, so the only, player, only way a player can be offside is in the attack and third. So anywhere else. Kind of like if you've played five aside, you know, the five aside I play, uh, well, it's like seven aside. It's usually that you can't res you can't take the ball into the small little box. Usually there's a smaller little box here. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just standard kind of rules. I'm sure that there's a, a way to be able to change the rules as well. There are no red cards. There are no red cards. Oh, holy moly. Blue cards are issued. Blue cards. Okay, so football is fun. Blue cards. So what does that mean? A serious foul resulting in a temporary suspension. A temporary suspension. So like a sin bit. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh, that's cool that he's over off the screen there. That's pretty decent. That is actually quite nice. And then obviously, if the opposition the scores, the offending player will return to the pitch faster. faster. So it's kind of like Volta. That was the way Volta was as well. There was a mode in Volta, from what I remember, that you could, um, you could like, it, when you scored, a player would go off. It's kind of similar mechanic in that. We learned a lot. We learned a lot from past small-sided small games. Which helps so this looks like pro clubs type of stuff as well. And that's definitely something that I'm interested in. Zero fatigue, Zero fatigue clock, countdown clock. Okay, so just small little bits and pieces like that. Drop, Matches go to golden goal. Golden goal. goal. Followed by a new kind of 101. Ooh, that looks nice. That's like the old school uh, penalty system that they used to in the States no, before. Sure. That's pretty cool. And I do like the fact that you're using this as well. New rush. custom stadium just for Rush. Oh, this looks very similar to when eFootball did the Ultimate Champions League. We'll have One million capacity match day stadium. Very match day feels very different from other experiences in FC. You got the drones, new broadcast overlays, cinematic new intros. Cinematic Are these intros all customizable though? New commentary. New commentary. And we're underway here. What the hell was that, man? It sounded like he was on the toilet there. We mentioned this earlier, but Rush is something you can play across every game mode. Yeah, this is cool, man. And on, uh, like honestly, this is something that would definitely 
tickle me a little bit that if I make my pro clubs player and I'm able to bring him across from mode to mode to mode and rank up I presume you're able to rank up and it's like cross progression bring a player in from your club you would control the player for the entire match that's cool man that is cool I'll be honest that's something that could definitely suit me and you can continue to and also the fact that Roy Keane is in it man progression in clubs I like this as well obviously you're going to have different uh prog oh, progression in clubs are all about playing as a team You've got, you know, a couple of real players or a couple of creative players, whatever you want to look at. I mean, for me, man, this is kind of gimmicky, but I will say for somebody that hasn't played EAFC last year and hasn't played FIFA in years, like a lot of this stuff is definitely interesting because it's so, how would I say it? Like pick up and play without having to like invest a serious amount of money into the game to play five a side. I mean, you could have a club of five players that you play with regularly or I could play with four of you boys. And once I get whoever I want, or once I train my player up to wherever they want to be, that could be it for like, you know, six months. It's it's pretty it's decent, man. And of course, you're not depending on, you know, having a pro club with 11 players. You can literally organize just four teammates and you could be set for the year. I do like that, man. I do like that. And obviously, co-op is a huge thing in eFootball in e as well. Co-op is something that I think is very neglected. I hope they actually have news on eFootball's co-op mode. A lot of people like it, but co-op is just kind of hard to play on eFootball because there's nothing really you're playing towards, you know. A victory point to your club's deli. I do like this, man. I do like this. I'll be honest with you. Taking you one step closer. Experience earned. You've got match rate and attack. So it's pretty similar to eFootball. Anybody that's used to watching my uh, co-op matches on eFootball, you will get your core stats, your course, your core rewards and stuff like that tied to your performance. Um, you can level up, Rush is integrated into Youth Academy and manage a career. Okay, I feel like we need to know a little bit more about that before I start talking about it. But that is pretty decent, man, I will say. I will say now that that is pretty decent. And I do like the space and I still have an issue with the gameplay movement though, man. That's something we need to take a deeper look at. The, the, the defense just seems so skaty. But the graphics in that look pretty decent there, man. They look grand, like. They look good. Ah, okay, so they've taken the kind of emote style uh that you're able to send quick messages and stuff like that probably emotes as well use the right stick to signal to your teammates where you ah okay so instead of a call button you can just place you can just tell your teammates yeah. where you want the ball okay. to go that's yeah it. man i mean that's there's pretty decent to, to be honest that. with you there's some nice stuff the in there you, that's th that's definitely interesting man i definitely think that this could be a mode that will be not as much like i don't know that you don't need to like really invest a massive amount of time in it to set your squad up get four boys in with you I'm intrigued. I am intrigued by something like this, man. I know it's kind of gimmicky. It's probably arcadey. And it's probably, you know, if you're a long-term player EAFC, you're like, oh, this isn't new. This isn't this. This isn't that. But um, yeah, it's pretty new to me. Somebody that has kind of not really played FIFA over the last couple of years or played EAFC that much last year. We, we did a little bit of career mode, but I don't know, man. Let me know what your thoughts are. And especially if you're an eFootball player, which most of my fan base is, let me know what you think about this. And would you like to see me do some of these, uh, some of these games? I think that it wins it out, man. So it's out, you can pre-order it, and Icon, start your player career with a Galactico. Beckham, Zidane, or Ronaldo, holy smoly, with the Ultimate Edition. Oh my days. Oh my days, man. That could be crazy. When's the date out, though? Son. For the club. Pre-order before August 20th. Okay. Oof. I don't know, man. That's crazy. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. And uh, it's something a little bit different. We haven't gone too much of a deep dive. But let me know what you think of it. And uh, we'll chat about it again in the next live stream. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know what you guys think.